It's sometimes very hard to laugh at my past rather than agonize over every decision or reaction. I mean, I exemplified the Dunning-Kruger effect in so many areas for far longer than I should have. I thought much more highly of my capabilities than I possessed. This doesn't mean I sucked at everything. I've naturally been very technical-minded, particularly when it comes to audio and video. And I've been good at music. I've written music, I've written my own songs since I was six. I made it to all Northwest and all state choirs in high school. I've been in several bands. And then I've learned over the past seven years that people really like my voice for narration. But in a lot of areas, I'm about as airheaded as it gets. I still try, though. I suppose one of the ways that I've tried to look at it all is that it's been a bunch of learning experiences. But with so many of them, it took me a long time to realize where I went wrong or that I was even wrong to begin with. I mean, not quite as much anymore, but still. I'd often blame other people or the situations themselves, rather than my poor reactions to them. Again, not nearly as much anymore. I'm more quickly cognizant of when I've reacted poorly to situations, and I can usually make up for it pretty quickly, at least in comparison to my past. Except for procrastination, I'm still really bad with that. Another way of looking at my life is if I looked at it as different chapters in a book. And whenever I have a major epiphany, or just some sort of life-changing realization, it's a new chapter. Some chapters are very dark, but unfortunately I'm far more horrified by my reactions to situations than the situations themselves. I mean, no, I won't likely do those things again, at least I'll try not to do those things again. So I guess I've learned, but there are just so many things. So many memories that creep up and I end up looking downward, shaking my head, saying, oh man. Occasionally, I'll be able to look at it in a humorous way. And that seems to be the most effective way, because at that point I'll have a different emotion to anchor it to. It's kind of like a form of self-bantering and being able to laugh at it. But I have absolutely no idea how much or how often most people, you know, how much do they agonize over this stuff. Let me know in the comments. Thanks.